Bitch Bonnie, happy Wednesday! Oh my gosh, you guys. I wasn't going to do this video tonight, but you know what? I'm calling it. It is January 13th. Semi-annual sale officially goes until like 6 a.m. January 18th. I'm five days early, but I'm done. I'm not talking about semi-annual sale anymore. I'm calling it. <laughs> it's officially over. I actually think that stores are wrapping it up a little earlier this year. It's kind of an interesting shift because as you all remember, the summer semi-annual sale, which was just a little bit odd because of the pandemic, were we having it, were we not having it? Um, it just, it didn't feel like a true semi-annual sale and it went on forever and ever and ever. Like it was like July Sometimes, it, I think some stores went into August with some annual sale, which was crazy. Um, this one, I feel like, was a huge success. I feel like it had a beginning, a middle, and now an end, and we're ready to move into spring. So I think that was a really good thing that Bath & Body Works did. So I actually didn't even buy that many products for semi-annual sale. I was pretty loaded up on the holiday stuff, um, so I didn't really need anything my store was doing like 75% off on a lot of the Christmas stuff, Country Apple. Um, I think I might have picked up one or two things. I did not pick up a lot of holiday stuff. That was not something I was interested in this year because I didn't feel like any of the scents were like stock up scents like last year, the snowy citrus swirl, um, you know, the lemon, bright lemon snowdrop. Like those are the ones that we kind of wanted to stock up on after Christmas. This year, I don't feel like we had those scents that we wanted to um, stock up on as much. What I did like, my favorite part of semi-annual sale were actually two things. Number one was the uh, lemon drop martini that I finally got my hands on. I mean, it wasn't necessarily like the be all end all, but I felt like it was like a treasure hunt to finally get this. Um, <laughs> Last year, I never got it, like my, my hands on it for some of my annual sale in the in June, and now that I finally got the collection, I'm like, I'm happy I got this. I feel like this is like a win. <laughs> so I was happy to get the uh, Lemon Drop Martini collection, and then I was really happy um, to get my hands on some of the True Blue Spa products. So I'm using the Super Softening Hand Lotion, the Paraffin, almost every day. I love this. Um, I did not get my hands on a second one of these. That's okay, because, I mean, we got more We got more hand lotion coming. Um, I'm really loving the 60-second uh, manicure hand scrub. I've used this a couple times. And then um, the mango body butter. Oh, my goodness. This, this is amazing. Um, so I was pretty happy uh, to get my hands on this stuff. I'm hoping we have more True Blue Spa products coming up, um, you know, into spring and summer. And then I was also happy to get my hands on, um, another of the, uh, the Coco Shea. I got the Coconut, um, Moisturizing Body Wash. So I feel like those were wins for me. Um, I did not pick up any of the aromatherapy. A lot of the stores had, like, the yoga collection at 75% off. They're redoing all of the packaging. Ooh, let me grab this. Um, for aromatherapy, kind of look like this. So they, it seems like they were clearing, clearing out a ton of aromatherapy. I'll put up a screenshot that I found of all the... Um, the orange one. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of aromatherapy they had. Um, so that was a good thing if you wanted to stock up on the aromatherapy. As far as online, aside from the 1250 candles, um, I don't feel like in the beginning they really had a whole heck of a lot of special stuff online. I mean, it was nice to have the True Blue Spa, the Coco Shea, um, but we didn't, you know, obviously get the 75% off stuff. As the sale progressed, <laughs> we started to get uh, more sale stuff online. We had the um, the Dollar Car Fragrance uh, pods. I actually missed out on those. I don't know what I was thinking. Somehow I missed those. Um, those were definitely a good deal. Right now, they've got a couple of the, um, the hand sanitizers. I think they've got the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. They've got the um, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and they've got a couple of the Triangle ones. 
on sale for four dollars for five which brings them to under a dollar each which is really good because i mean a lot of people um they just want hand sanitizer so if you want to get one of these five packs for four bucks i mean that's that's a really really good deal um on these hand sanitizers so that's actually still going on right now um they also have a lot of the Wallflower plugins for $2.50. I'm actually going to put a screenshot up to show you those. That is the best deal going online right now. A couple other really good deals. Soap. If you can find any $2.50 soap that you like, stock up. Tis the Season is on there. Um, they've actually got, um, I think, a couple of like sp spring summery ones in the, um, in the $3.75 range. I also found in the wallflowers 250 pacific coastline and seaside waves so if you want to get those um those are definitely springy and they're 250 i'm like well that that's a deal <laughs> um two things that you're not going to want to miss out on are those um the black friday box and the gigan box the black friday box is currently online for $25. If you didn't like a couple of pieces, you could always exchange them. That's a really good deal for $25, especially if you have a coupon. <laughs> the other good deal is the gingham box, which is $42.50. I'm putting screenshots up as I talk. That is fabulous. I actually got that. I love that gingham box. That was awesome. Um, I just got a lot of neat products uh, in the gingham pattern. And then um, the other, the, the, to me, the, the, the best deal on the candle is that they still have Mary Madeline Cookie uh, $11.50. That is a fabulous scent. If I do another order, um, if the bake shop comes online and they do an order, I might pick up that uh, Mary Madeline Cookie. <laughs> they also have those single wicks, um, like Eucalyptus Rain, $6. You could definitely use those into spring. So I think there's 183 semi-annual sale items left online. I doubt, and this is just my personal opinion here, that they're going to go much lower online. I think they're definitely moving the semi-annual sale stuff out. And the only reason I say that is because um, they don't really even have that many, like, you know, sale advertisements. So they've got four ninety five select body care. A couple things are like, you know, three bucks and then 50% off hand soap, but they're not even really like advertising um, anything else on semi-annual sale. The only thing they're really, oh, they're promoting the 250 um, wallflowers, but it, you know, they're, they're definitely backing off semi-annual sale. So I think, you know, if you want something from semi-annual sale, do it today or tomorrow while the stock is still available because otherwise it's going to be gone like you know um like i said i have a i have a i have a slight suspicion that we could see the bake shop either friday morning or for sure on monday i they're not going to let i i can't imagine the bake shop's not going to show up online at least monday i don't know if it shows up online friday morning obviously i'll be there you can you can shop with me because uh, there's a bunch of pieces i still need and i have uh um app rewards so that'll be fun but my overall thought on semi-annual sale i think it was a hundred percent better than um the june one I shopped in the store probably three or four times. They had a decent amount of 75% off on body care. Our store did not have a lot of 75% off candles. If they did, I missed them. I mean, because I wasn't going in every day. Um, but overall, I'm going to call semi-annual sale a 9 out of a 10. I think Bath & Body Works did a really good job coming out of Christmas in a pandemic. And um, they gave us a lot of neat stuff like uh, the lemon uh, drop martini, the um, the True Blue Spa stuff. So those are my final thoughts on semi-annual sale. I am done. We're waiting for June <laughs> when we can buy Bake Shop. <laughs> so, I, can, is anyone else thinking about that yet? I'm like, oh, Bake Shop's going to be like it's semi-annual sale in June. <laughs> I'm already thinking about it. But anyway, um, let me know what you thought about semi-annual sale this time. I thought it was pretty good. I really did. I, I didn't I didn't have any complaints. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a bunch more stuff. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.